guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hello and welcome my name is Casey I hope you'll come and join the party by subscribing down below turning post notifications and all of those good things but in today's video I just thought I would come on here and do my makeup as you can see yeah we're not looking too cute so cute but it's not like fully cute but yeah so I thought I'd come on here and do my makeup and maybe just have like a little bit of a chit chat life update what's going on we're obviously in lockdown all this kind of stuff so yeah hopefully you'll stay tuned for the video so let's get into it okay but before we get into this how cute is my hair look how long it is she long or whatever but yeah she's so cute i thought i would try something different so i curled it at the end as you can see curly vibes but yeah really cute i'm a fan it took me like literally six hours so that was so long when did i do it was it yesterday before i can't remember but anyway let's get into the face so to be completely honest with you guys like i actually have no idea what kind of look i'm going for i think i've got a color that kind of matches the top i'm wearing so i think i might just go in with that color and kind of see what look we can do i don't think i'm going to do anything like too mad probably just something quite simple but i guess we'll find it and see but yeah i've actually been doing my makeup like not like a lot but i've done it quite a bit in the last few days with emily you know facetime a little makeup session it's actually quite a vibe and it's like therapeutic i would say yeah it's good but yeah, I've been doing my makeup a little bit more. I kind of went off. I felt like I'd still do it, but I wouldn't wear like eyelashes or like put any foundation or anything. Like I'd like put like the minimal, you know, when it's like a little bit of mascara, a little bit of blush and you're good to go. I've been doing that. So yeah, I'm finally back doing actual eyeshadow, lashes, the whole shebang. And it's a vibe. I'm loving it. But yeah, how has lockdown been treating you guys? I feel like it's been so long. This lockdown so like up and down sometimes i'm like oh we're in lockdown it's kind of a vibe i can just chill and other days i'm like hmm mm. you know it's just like we're living the same day again and again and again and again and it's so boring so boring so yeah as you can see also i'm just popping some of the p louise base on this is like my favorite base to use i don't know like i just think it's so good it's literally the best one but i'm mixing two different shades together i think this is five and one because i don't know i just quite like the mix it gives me I'm just gonna mix those together but yeah do you know what i've actually been watching a lot of tv series like recently i don't know why but like i'm such a like tv series person over movies like i can't really sit for hours not even hours because how long is the movie like an hour and a half two and a half hours like i can't really sit for two and a half hours watching a movie like i just don't have that kind of like concentration there like that's not there attention spam that's what i was looking for yeah she does not exist anymore i feel like tiktok ruined it like i'm used to watching like videos that are, like five seconds long and get to the point like who needs to watch two hours of a movie that's so long and half the time the movie's not even good so yeah i've kind of got out of movies like a lot but i've been watching a lot of tv series do you know what actually talking about movies i watched um the final to all the boys i loved it was very very mediocre very mediocre like i don't know what it was it just wasn't really like that good it was just average like the first one was quite good it was like a good vibe i swear it came out like the same time as the kissing booth it was like yeah chilling we love to see it and then the second one came out and it was literally so bad no i could barely watch it i had to like force myself to watch it because that's not really my like vibe of show um, but I watched it anyway and then I did not want to watch this last one but I heard such mixed reviews and I was like do you know what I've watched the two I should just watch it watched it no it's it was like it was a good ending I guess but nah the second one ruined it also I found out that I'm pretty sure this is what I found out anyway that the first one was directed by a woman like women and the second two were directed by men so maybe that explains stuff I don't really know like there's so many bits in the movies that did, didn't make sense like there's a bit where he had literally a sheet mask on and he took the sheet mask off and he was like, oh, ow. A sheet mask? How is that sore? What are you, what? Why are you saying ow to that like a piece of paper on your face? Well, you, you do you. Anywho, I was actually talking about TV series, but yeah, I've been watching a lot of TV series recently. I'm literally loving um, Superstore. That show is so good. I love to have like a comedy like on the go while I'm watching other shows. I've just finished Modern Family and like i'll have like futurama stuff like that as well but um yeah superstore is so good and me and my brother have nearly finished it which is so sad like i've stretched out so much so i can like keep it going because it only has six seasons and it's like done so yeah that's really sad but money heist is back soon and that is 
one of my favorite if not like my literal favorite tv show ever i just love it i'm so obsessed with it if you haven't watched it go and watch it like what are you doing with your life you know what i mean it's like that kind of thing this is taking me so long like why is it the, the pigment's not really there this time i don't know what it is about this look hmm i don't know about this okay i think the way to save this is maybe to go with a darker color but oh that's very dark i don't know if that's gonna work but we're gonna go for it and just hope for the best i guess yikes also talk about tv series i've been watching so many like true crime documentaries you know um is it hotel cecil cecil i can't remember how to pronounce it but yeah that one about the hotel is literally insane like the whole story her story and then like everything else that's gone on there is literally insane and then i watched the night stalker which was so good oh my god i did not place that very well wow yeah that's not really bad but yeah i watched the night stalker which was literally insane if you haven't watched that i would definitely recommend it i love learning about like all those kind of like true crime series like murder mystery and no what's it called unsolved mysteries unsolved mysteries unsolved murder something like that it's literally it's so good like see if you like those kind of true crime shows netflix is your place they have so many but then at the same time some of their stuff okay just rev on down the street why don't you um some of the stuff like isn't that good like the way they did that hotel one was kind of weird like the storyline of it do you know what? i actually wanted to make a video with my brother like talking about that like whole show and just like going into like the conspiracies and all this kind of stuff but i didn't know if that'd be something that you guys would want to see so if you do let me know in the comments and i actually will record that video because it's so interesting but yeah i've been loving those kind of shows recently i feel like there's not many now because i'm one of those people that watches my show in like one sitting like i'll literally sit there and finish a show which is so bad because then it's done and then i'm like okay now what do you know what and like especially with true crime it's not like you can get like a season two well you would hope there's not a season two but yeah what else i've been watching i started watching is it called Ginny and georgia i started watching that yesterday but i actually quite like it um shout out to ashton and caitlin for basically forced me to watch that but yeah it's actually not bad it's definitely grown on me i was gonna turn it off because i was just like i don't know if this is for me but maybe it is for me i'll give you guys an update at the end okay i'm gonna i'm not sure i understand oh my god my siri literally always speaks to me also irish but yeah um i'm gonna rush along and kind of like speed up this i should have become just talking too much i'm talking too much okay so i kind of blended that out it looks like a hot mess but i don't even care i'm just gonna go into the shirt and like cut a crease well a fake crease because that's so much effort to actually cut my crease and i'm literally not going anywhere i'm just doing makeup because i'm bored so i keep looking down there because my makeup's like on the floor because i'm literally in my brother's room because another light update i have no motivation to do literally anything this is the mirror i'm using today um so my room is a complete and utter mess i'm supposed to be redoing it but i just keep putting it off so yeah <laughs> it's a problem you know what i'm actually not even mad at this like yeah i can go with this eye it's not even bad it's not bad but let's talk about school school ew why did i call it school let's talk about uni um yeah how is that going for people right now because uni is just like an absolute hot mess right now like there's no motivation none motivation left the group chat she left the group chat and she went on a holiday she took maternity leave because what like no is literally out the window and my lecturer was asking us the other day do you think being at home and like online uni affects your work and like your motivation people are like oh no 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 i don't think it does huh it does i have no motivation like literally none at all do you know what because it's so different when you have like you're like okay i have a 9 a.m i'd wake up i need to go to uni and i need to go and then when you're there you're writing your notes but see here it's like a podcast it just plays in the background while you're doing your work like no no it plays in the background while you're like doing the dishes eating your lunch i was literally doing my makeup in my lecture the other day i shouldn't be doing that but i still did all my work so it's fine but that's not what we're talking about why have they given us so much group work like how am i supposed to do group work online that's so awkward and annoying i just don't understand that it's like what no uni well in the middle of a panasonic whatever you want to call this is long it's so long it's so long okay i'm actually nearly done with this like eye look i think 
I feel like there's more shimmer on this side than there is on this side. Also, my leg is literally like, I don't even know what's going on with it. It's like shaking some sense so weirdly. I don't know. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're gonna go in with mascara, but I literally don't know where I put my other one that I like to use. So we're using this one, which is from Lancome, which I don't mind, I used to use all the time, but um, yeah, I kind of replaced it with this Sky High Maybelline one. It's, it's better, to be perfectly honest with you. Also, I low-key hate recording myself when I'm doing mascara because I just make the weirdest face. Ooh. Okay, now that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my eyelashes. I've been loving these eyelashes by, by, by from, I don't know what you can call it from Tati Lashes and these are the TL4. I don't know, they're just really cute. Thanks, Emily. Emily gifted me these, so shout out to you. But yeah, I never really wear Tati Lashes, but these ones, I'm, I'm obsessed with. So let me go and put them on off camera because like that's just like a whole, either one minute that it literally takes me or like two days. So let's get into that. And we're back. I've got my eyelashes on, as you can see. They're quite cute, I like them, but they really do cover your eyes. I'm just putting my lotion on. But yeah, they really cover your eyes, I can't lie. So like, if you're doing something like a really cute eye with like a lot of detail that took you a lot of time, you're probably not gonna wanna wear these eyelashes because yeah, they cover it quite a lot. Also, I keep covering my mouth while I'm speaking. Don't do that, are you dumb, clearly. Okay, I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. putty because I literally am obsessed with this primer. I don't know why, but I think it's really good. I you know what song has been stuck in my head this whole time, you know? Monster by um, Justin Bieber and Shawn Mendes. I don't know who sings, like who is the actual, like whose actual song it is, which one of them. But yeah, that song is so good and it's literally been stuck in my head. And Holy by Justin Bieber and Chance the Rapper. I've literally had one like all day today. I don't know why, because I've listened to them for like ages now, but today I have to play them so much. Bops, and the music video for Holy is actually so cute. But yes, I'm still undecided what bass I'm gonna do today. Hmm. Okay, so I've decided to go in with these, my trusty Superstay and Elf. I have these both because I'm still not by my perfect shade, which is so annoying because I don't know, like, there's so many brands. Why do I not have a perfect shade, you know? I would even get shade matched, but obviously, Corona. So, yeah, that didn't happen. So I'm still working, mixing between all the different ones I have. And this is just the best one I've got so far. So we're just gonna go. This pump is low-key so harsh, like, coming out, hello. I don't want to put too much. I think when I put too much foundation, I look kind of weird. But yeah, recently in this lockdown, I've been getting into reading, which is fun. Not like recently, I started reading like in the first lockdown. I read the book, The Silent Patient, which was literally so interesting. Like I actually got me hooked into reading. Like I'm one of, I said like so many times, drink every single time I said like, um, I have always been one of those kids. Like. When I was little, I used to really like reading. I used to read all the time. But since I got older, I hate it. What is going on with these pumps? But yeah, as I was saying, since I got older, I just like hated reading. Like, soon as I was in school, I would read the little like summaries to each chapter instead of actually reading it. I don't know why, because it's just it's stupid. But yeah, so I've not read literally since I was in like English in school. So I decided I'd get a book. I've got so much free time, like lockdown, to start reading. And this book hooked it was so good even again to read it and you like like kind of like who did it kind of things definitely read this book i would 100 percent recommend it was such an easy read so chilled and brought me back into reading so now i'm currently reading is it the family upstairs i think that's what the book's called i'm reading right now and it's actually really good i'm enjoying it so far it's the kind of this similar story like they're both written from two like from different people's perspectives which makes it quite interesting i suppose so yeah, I'm enjoying that right now. Also, we just got a new exercise bike. So, you know, get fit and all that kind of stuff is fun. I was literally on it for ages to just listen to my music, which is a vibe because I have nothing else to do, you know? This just doesn't look like my shade. Like, it doesn't, but it is. But it doesn't, but it is, you know? Also, I still haven't figured out quite where I'm actually supposed to look because like, I will look here like directly in the camera and I don't know if I'm looking at the right place. And then if I look here like at me, I'm also not looking at the right place. I'm just like, where do I look? And I keep looking at me and then I'm like, I don't think I'm looking at the right place. And it's just frustrating, very much so. And like my foundation, I'm gonna go in with Maybelline and Elle for my concealer. I don't know why this has got like all red in it. I need to mix it a bit, I guess. But um, yeah, I'm actually really liking these two paired together. I've been using them like a lot recently, but yesterday I used 
um what did I just do to like makeup revolution ones and I was so creasy like under my eyes crease 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 wrinkle 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 I, I don't know what it was so I'm gonna stick to this because I still get creases but not as much I don't know what it is like recently I just get like creases under my eyes and then my pores have got so much worse and I'm like don't do that it's not even cute like I'm mad at it but it's not cute okay we're gonna just do a little bit not too much yeah also like how i was like oh my god life update there's literally no update because we're all to live a life so yeah that's why i'm gonna fill up here also everyone thinks like now i'm seeing on twitter it's like oh my god what are you wearing june 21st june 21st this june 21st that do you guys really think we're gonna be out back to normal on june 21st i don't think so i really hardly doubt it i feel like they see dates all the time but nothing actually happens so i'll be very intrigued to see what happens then because i don't know i really don't know about that one june 21st is looking a little a little mad to me like maybe we'll be out of lockdown but like people literally think june 20th we're gonna go to sleep full lockdown june 21st we wake up clubs are open everything's open i don't think outside it's gonna open like that what do you think let me know down below comment down below what you actually think like realistically what you think is gonna happen okay i decided to put my hair up so i can actually do my contour because i need to put a little bit up here and it's a bit awkward when i have my hair what why is it not coming off the stick hello i feel like either nothing comes out or too much comes out it makes sense it's like literally not down at all oh my god i'm really done sad times okay i'm gonna i've been trying the technique to like put it more up my face to like lift my face up but I think my face is just down. That's just life. It is what it is. Now for some nose contour. This is really tricky. I feel like I always mess it up when I do it on camera. Oh, fact. I, I was correct. I'm going to just blend this together a little bitty. Um, oh, I don't really know what is going on here. There you go. There you go, that's kind of a vibe, I guess. Hmm. Then I'm actually just gonna go with my foundation brush that I used and blend this out. I actually might have to get another one of these brushes like for a contour because the brush I have is so thick and it makes it look so stupid. Even this looks a little bit mad, but oh, this gonna be so much lame. Oh, I'm gonna take that off somehow. Okay. Eee! I'm just gonna blend the like last bits of this all in together and I look you look mad, like literally insane, but I feel like I can pull this together. Do you know what? I have faith. I'm trusting the process. Mm, am I? Yeah. No, I am. I am. Literally, one of the most annoying things about me doing my makeup on here is that because I have my like, what's this thing called again? A ring light on. It literally looks so different on the camera and I never know it until I've done my makeup. So then afterwards, I'm like, did it look cute or not? Like sometimes it will look so cute on this camera and see in real life you're like, yikes, big yikes. But then other times it looks like the shade is so insane on here, but in real life it's my perfect shade. Like it looks unreal. So it's so annoying. Like, I don't know. Don't believe everything you see online, you know? One of those kind of situations. But I'm, it looks really good in person, but I feel like it looks really great on camera from what I can see. But at the same time, I have this like ray of a light like shining into my face right now. But I'm not mad at it, to be fair. And there's still a lot of steps. Not even a lot of steps. A few steps left. It looks better than I thought it was looking. So we're going to just roll with that, I guess, right now. Okay, I'm going to go in and bronze now and see if that will bring me some colour back to my face. I feel like it will, to be fair, it usually does. Do you know one thing I hate about my makeup as well? See, whenever I make like a TikTok, because I love to do those like, you know, the little like, no makeup, boom, full face. I love to do those kind of makeup videos, but the lighting, like on TikTok for some reason, it just doesn't pick up the right lighting. So I will literally do my makeup and in real life, it looks so, so good. But on the camera, it'll be like one shade, it'll like have no contour at all. So if I'm just doing my makeup just for TikTok, I have to do like the harshest, most insane contour ever. And then camera's like, hmm. It's there, kind of, but like in real life, she's very much present in the group chat, but 
I feel like it looks cute on camera today this so I guess we'll find out afterwards because I definitely will make a TikTok to this because you know Charlie D'Amelio who? Is that even how you say him? I don't know but what are things like people are looking forward to like for this lockdown to be over because I can't wait to actually see my friends again properly I said properly just to see my friends again full stop like I can't even wait like even when we had didn't have lockdown when we had like the little break it was like normality a bit but not really oh yeah I closed my window today and what even is it it's not even half three yet is it half three no it's it's 20 to four still that's not even bad I'm not mad at that usually I'm literally like in my room my rings are like get up you literally are a sack of tails get up and do something with your life I'm like oh sorry it's so annoying but then also with the apple watches are so weird like sometimes you accidentally click it and it'll be like oh you did a run like the other day it said i ran for like four hours in my sleep how if I, if i did weird but i don't think i did so <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm going my eyes below. What do you want again? Lower lash line, that's the one. Oh my God, I'm so smart. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I feel like this video is low key being, not even, ooh, maybe not. That ain't gonna work. What the heck? I make the weirdest face when I do that as well. I always like pull myself in that because I just start speaking. I feel like also when I make these TikToks, I speak so much. Like, I speak loads. I speak quickly. So they're just all over the place. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just like, 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 I feel like, I feel like, 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 like. If you're watching this video, congrats because I do not know what the heck is going on. When I edit this back, I'm going to literally be like, you clearly are missing social interaction because what the heck is going on here? Does anybody else feel like low key when you go back out, like when outside opens up, you're gonna have like social anxiety low key? Because I had to walk past the park the other day and there was little kids there and it was scary. Like I literally thought I was gonna get mugged. It was so scary. I don't know if I can do the whole being outside. It kind of gives me the fear now. Like I wanna go back outside, but I don't know if it'll be the same. I don't know if it'll ever be the same. I don't think it will. Oh, so my eyes look so dark. Okay, I think that should have lightened up. I'm gonna put some of this like, what do you even call this? Iridescent, did I make that word? No, that's a real word, but I don't know what it means. Why have I like Loki forgot the meaning of that word and I forgot what this is called. Like when you put it in the middle and it changes color. I don't know. This is why I need to go back to you because I just don't know stuff anymore. Oh, I don't know if I made it better or Loki worse. Outside, why is there so much noise outside? I'm really undecided on this look. Hmm. Maybe I want to do my eyes and blusher. Blusher is literally, blush, blusher, whatever you want to call it, is literally my favourite step of all time. Also, do you know what I noticed? See, when I was like editing back, sorting through my videos, I noticed that when I'm like properly speaking to the camera, I shout and I speak so loudly. And then I'll have times when I'm speaking to myself and I'm like, mm, I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. And I speak so quietly and you literally don't know what I'm saying. And when I edit, I have to like play around with the volume and it's so long. Why can't I just speak normally, like a normal human being? But yeah, this is what we're looking like so far. We're gonna add my favorite step, blusher. I'm gonna use my little mirror again because I feel like if not, my gold for blood. All I can hear is that song is literally so weird. I'm probably dragging my blush now because I keep seeing everyone being like, you apply it wrong. You know, if you just apply it here, it's like, no, drag all the way up here and smile. I have the literal like, Chubbiest little. Look at chubby cheeks, come through. And if you don't apply blusher to your nose, what do you do with your life? Like, in the nicest, most respectful way. Why? Why? What? I don't understand that. Okay, okay, maybe we're getting somewhere. Let's let's set this thing up and yeah, see what happens. I always. Oh my god! I always decide to speak when I'm spraying that. Yo. We're gonna go in with the highlighter from my Be Perfect palette, which I smashed the mirror of. Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. I hate that sometimes. Literal fear, but we move. Ooh, okay. Okay, nose highlight. You can literally never see it on my side. 
I bet I'm gonna edit this back and my face is gonna be like grey with just like a line, a line and I'm gonna be confused, we're all gonna be confused but from what I'm seeing she looks cute the light in when I'm seeing it oh ah yeah I'm not mad at this okay lips, lips and then hopefully we'll be done I'll let me go ahead and fix these brows brush them up again, I literally even put this in my eyebrows because that's so long, I just brush them up like that with my little collection finest clear mascara because um, it's cheap and I love it. Okay, lips. Oh my god, since it's only been like two days with my new hair, I'm still undecided of like how I wanted to set my face. Do you know what I mean? Like in the middle part end with a little bit back, up, both at the back. No, both at the back, it's not yet. Mm. Okay, well we're gonna go like this for now and just leave it like that. But yeah, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. What do you think? Does she look cute? If not, just pretend she does. And yeah, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you stayed tuned this long, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Comment down below, subscribe, all those good things, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!